Day 26 of jam-packed July? Is that you? Oh, huh. Well, I think today we're going to be revamping Sheldon's new enclosure. Well, we're going to be getting some plants as well as maybe finding some cool stuff, whether they're rocks or something to put in here, just to kind of revamp it for you guys. So I'm actually going to be heading out to the greenhouse right away. But before I do that, I want to make sure that you guys know what you're doing before you go to the greenhouse or at least have the resources to check while you're there. Now this video is not sponsored by anybody. The tortoisetable.org is one of the websites that I've been using ever since I got Sheldon. Their plant database is one of the most incredible plant databases that I've seen. Uh, it covers a lot of different plants, especially common greenhouse plants. So I've been there so many times that I kind of understand what is safe and what is not. You also have to make sure that you are aware of different grasses, different variations of plants, and just know before going in what you might be looking for. So I know what is safe for these guys. Obviously ponytail palms, parlor palms are one of Sheldon's favorites. That's a Dracantia back there. This is, well it's technically not in his cage, but as you can see he has eaten some of the leaves. This is a Philodendron, which is not really recommended, but is not gonna hurt them occasionally. And you can add things like geraniums and various different plants that I will show you at the greenhouse just as a natural food for these little doofuses uh, that we call our tortoises. Um, this is Sheldon. He has been going nuts because I just, uh, just fed him and now we're going to go off to the greenhouse. So just make sure that you're aware of what you are looking for or what you might be looking for before you go to the greenhouse. That'll just make for a more successful trip. Although, make sure you keep the database open and when you're at the greenhouse, you can check what different plants are good that are actually available. So with that being said, uh, let's get over to the greenhouse. So what I'm looking for is just healthy plants, no damage or little damage, and I already know that all these succulents, or most of the succulents, are good for uh, the tortoises. So, for those of you guys wondering, most succulents, I believe these are like Sansevera, these are really good, but you can tell there's a whole ton of succulents here. So. I think I'm just gonna pick up two of those today though. And then we'll move on to the tropical stuff. Now, all of the philodendron, 
and like the croton and stuff, not what you want to be picking. But what I'm actually looking for is like palm trees and stuff. But I don't see any. So these are parlor palms. As you can see for this size, it's $14.99. These are the ones that I always get for Sheldon. Uh, he'll end up eating probably half these almost right away. I think it's necessary for him to have some of these in there because they look so good and they fill in the space really well. So, I would recommend picking up some parlor palm. So I'm gonna go check out with this stuff and I'll see you guys back at home. <laughs> All right. Here we are. This is actually the next day. Not that you guys would have ever known that if I didn't tell you, but we're back. Uh, I need to clean up all these plants and then put them in Sheldon's tank. So why don't we do that? So what we're going to do right now is we're going to take all the plants. I guess I'll start with the biggest one, the palm trees here. And we're going to remove all the soil and uh, as much of the perlite and stuff as we possibly can. Now, I'm just going to do this very simply, very quickly for you guys. It's not anything super hard to do. Uh, it really depends on how crazy the roots are of your plants. And then what you're going to want to do after this is you can go rinse it under a um, shower or in a bucket of water or whatever. But chances are these are still kind of potted in their old substrate. What actually happens is that these guys are just basically repotted in a larger plant. They don't actually remove any of the soil or anything like that. They basically just stick the whole pot in a larger um I guess mass of soil so that's basically what you end up doing is you just go through here with your fingers you are going to break roots there's nothing really wrong with that and if you don't get every single piece of soil and perlite and whatnot that's not a big deal uh, you can rinse these out and then uh, you don't need to worry about that so I'll continue to do this on my own I, I don't think this is all that hard, as you can see. Uh, I'd even be pretty much comfortable adding that into the tank without washing the roots. But, just because of safety, I am going to rinse the roots as well. Just in case there's something lurking in the, in the root mass that I don't really want. I'm not actually going to show you guys the whole process, but it's basically you just dunk the roots in water and do what I was just doing to clear them of as much soil as you possibly can. And then once you're done that, you can set it off to the side and continue with the next one. I decided I wasn't going to actually film me planting all the plants, but I decided to take a time lapse for you guys. And here we are. You guys saw the time lapse. You saw what I did and how much of a pain in the butt Sheldon was, but it's done. I'll show you guys just kind of up close what I did. So over there I planted the blue fescue grass. This I believe is a succulent called Sansevera. This I believe is a succulent called Sansevera. This is part of the parlor palm. And as you guys know, this is an aloe vera plant. The other part of the parlor palm went over there. Guaranteed that's not going to last any more than an hour. Uh, <laughs> I almost guarantee that. But you can see how the pen ended up turning out. I think it looks great right now. For those of you guys that have been following the channel for a little while, you'll know that Sheldon is kind of the destroyer of worlds and hearts. So in the comment section, I want you guys to put how long you think this is going to last. I'll keep you updated on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, the link will be in the description for you guys to go check it out. Uh, make sure you follow me there. But you can see that's our showman over here. Still doing his thing, just running around. Uh, and that is his new tank. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that we typically do a remodel of Sheldon's tank every May. Or, I guess this time it's July. But we always will buy some plants. And at some point, I kind of hope to go in here and maybe do some like concrete work. Kind of like Camp Kennan does. But uh, that won't be for quite a while. That's just kind of an idea at this point. Who knows when that'll happen. But that is the upgrade on Sheldon's pen. Adding some live plants for him to consume and, uh, well, enrich his life. But he's just going to enrich his body rather than his life. 
So with that being said, if you guys liked the video, make sure you click that like button down below. It really helps me out. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, make sure you leave them in the comments section. And while you're down there, you can click the red subscribe button right next to it. That way you'll be notified. Well, that way my videos will go into your subscription box. And if you want to support the channel a little bit extra, you could always play Ding Dong Ditch with the doorbell next to it. That way you'll get notified every time I post a video or go live. And that is the end of this video. So I want to thank you all very much for watching. And we'll see you tomorrow with more Sheldon content. Later.